So currently the deluge can pick a random sample out of, let's say, a pool of samples for you, and it can pick a random slice of a longer sample for you. But it has some really good probability features that somehow let you work around that. Let me show you how I did this in this thing I'm currently working on. So I've got this kit set up here, and I loaded a bunch of similar percussion samples in here. This is how they sound. And what I want the deluge to do is pick one of these samples randomly on each 16th note. Um, to achieve that, I placed every sample on every 16th note and then used probabilities um, to only have one of them play. If you set the probability values of the notes on the same step to values that add up to 100, the deluge will automatically only play one of them. Um, to set the probability, you hold the pad and then you turn the select knob. Uh, the first notch you turn isn't actually doing anything, it's only showing the value that it is already set to. Now I could adjust this, but I leave it at 10%. In this case, I have them set to 10 for the first six, which adds up to 60, and then the top two ones are set to 20, um, which makes it 100. Now if I play this, You can hear that on every 16th note, exactly one sample is playing um, and a random one each time. It doesn't need to be similar samples. I just think it leads to more musical results. And of course, um, you can adjust the, the sound of each one individually and play around with effects and all that. By the way, you don't need to pl place four of these rows here. I just did it because if, if it's only one, it's really kind of a pain to look at. Also, having this entire quarter note uh, lets me uh, adjust the thing so I could maybe say I only want three of those four uh, play some uh, random sample and let's say the first one should be this guy all the time. Or I don't know, maybe something completely different, maybe it's just a, let's say a kick for example, why not? Just keep in mind that in this case, the entire kit somehow behaves like a monophonic um, uh, synth or drum machine. Um, because if you, let's say for example, place a kick here with the probability set to 100% or anything else but zero because all the other ones already add up to 100, this will mess up the probabilities of the other ones. And what's happening now is the kick is gonna play each time and all the other ones, depending on their probability, will play in addition to the kick. It's a nice sound too, but it's just something completely different. So another way to mess with this is to adjust the row lengths. So let's say, for example, if I make this row a bit longer, uh, what's going to happen now is that every fifth time we're going to land on this guy where there's uh, no sample at all. So all the other samples will not add up to 100, but only to 80. So occasionally there will be a hit at there and occasionally not. Of course, I can also set it to some odd value, which will occasionally even trigger one of these guys up here in between here. And not as often will they all line up to 100%. So I think the result should be somewhat more uh, sparsely placed percussion. And the 30 second notes, they sound kind of off here, especially with this uh, sample sound, but it's interesting. Uh, I mean, I guess it's worth uh, just playing around with this and maybe lead some to some uh, cool stuff.
what I found to be a, a kind of a neat performance tool is by just muting one row, I'm going to mess up the probabilities as well. This especially sounds nice with the beat I have here. This is just kick, snare, hi-hat. Let's add the percussion. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Keep in mind, it's probably best uh, to have part of your beat in a separate kit instrument because otherwise it's going to mess with your probabilities. So I tried to think of ways to do that with uh, melodies as well. And the only thing I could think of is just uh, sequencing stuff manually, like old school style, by using the, the pitch shift feature. Uh, that's what I it here so um, I loaded in some pitch samples here different instruments um, and then I put together a little sequence by um, using the pitch shift and the effect entire track level of the kit so these get different pitches simply because they're set to something different And this is what this sounds like. To be fair, this is quite tedious to set up though, because um, I had to set the probability for each note uh, five times, and then the dialing in of the pitch isn't so easy either. And to edit the sequence and make changes the rhythm especially you have to dial in the probabilities again um, but yeah it's an interesting thing uh, to play around with as well so i thought for the sake of completeness i'll mention that too Uh, the nice thing here is that it's pretty easy to swap out single sounds. So I can just, uh, for example, let's say I don't like the flute. I just go for a different sample here. I think though this is more suited for uh, percussive stuff, but there it can be really cool. So this is all I've got on this uh, subject. Uh, if you figured out other ways how to randomize samples on the deluge, I'd love to hear about them. Uh, yeah, I hope you found this interesting and thank you for watching. Wow.